<clears throat> All right. So let's so let's talk about Kendrick Lamar's uh, new album rollout. OK, once again, this is from Leaky Archives. I did a, a couple of reactions from them. So let's see what new updates they got on the Kendrick Lamar uh, rollout. Definitely one of the most anticipated, if not that it, it is the most anticipated album this year right i definitely can't wait until kendrick drops man listen I, I know i know i know kendrick is a mad scientist and you cannot create um you know you got to take your time with 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 quality stuff but hopefully it don't take too much damn time shit i ain't gonna lie drop an album give me some music i want to hear some new kendrick I ain't gonna lie about that. Now, come on now. Don't don't be taking too goddamn long. I know it takes time for you to do what you got to do. I understand, but don't take too goddamn long. So hopefully this album comes out shit but in, the, in the next month or so, man. I want to I want to hear some more Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? But let's listen to the new album rollout. All right. Once again, this is from Le Leaky archives y'all can go check them out let's get it going while we have had tons of insider info these past couple weeks it seems that kendrick's plans have continued to change for the highly anticipated upcoming album rollout i love leaky so just a few weeks ago on july 4th we got a tidbit of info dropped by playa who revealed that kendrick was a confirmed feature on mustard's upcoming album titled faith of a mustard seed which is dropping this friday on july 26th now this was pretty exciting news as it would likely have been kendrick's next official music release following the drake diss tracks and we already know he makes absolute gold with mustard based on not like us unfortunately it seems that this plan has gone out the window as two days ago we got the official track listing and features for faith of a mustard seed with no kendrick feature to be found i will say that although we aren't getting any kendrick on faith of a mustard seed songs like track 10 with features from future ty Dalla, and charlie wilson have me still very hyped to hear what mustard is able to cook up with all these amazing guest voices this does however mean that playa caught another l with his info drops but God he actually came out with a statement later on in the day yesterday that added a whole lot more context to the lack of a kendrick feature and why the plan had changed. Now this is where it's super important to distinguish that Playa is not the one actually going out and gathering this information. He knows people who know people and thus a lot of the info and rumors trickle down through him, but he's not the original source if that makes sense. Following the reveal that Kendrick would not be on Faith of a Mustard Seed, Playa went and got a statement directly from one of his guys who's- Right, because people were saying that Kendrick was gonna be on track number five, but come to find out that he's not gonna be on the album. And you know, people, people were saying that, you know, Possibly a new uh, Drake disc will, will be on Mustard's album, but that's not the case said that originally Kendrick was present on the album. Of course, Kendrick and Mustard have plenty of new songs as evidenced by how quickly Not Like Us was put out, but clearly Kendrick changed his mind last minute and decided not to be on the album. The tough pill to swallow here and with all insider info is that plans actually do change. And in the roughly two weeks between Playa's initial guarantee and now, it's obvious that something has changed within the Kendrick camp. Things like this go on all the time behind the scenes and fans are just generally not aware of it unless we have people like Playa that have access to very new updates as things are developing. And while it does suck Kendrick pulled himself off of Faith of a Mustard Seed, it seems he did so with a very specific reason in mind. Playa's source then went on to give huge context to Kendrick's current song and album developments, essentially laying out his plans for dropping the new project. According to the guy, it seems like Kendrick is going to wait and complete his album and then release a new song once it's all ready. He added that it doesn't look like Kendrick's next release will be a feature. This is pretty crazy because it could very well mean we are super close to another Kendrick diss track or at the very least a banger single. The fact that Do y'all think when do y'all think we're gonna get another Kendrick song. Do you think he's going to be featured on somebody else's or do you think he's just going to wait, probably drop another single, then another album and then the album? Do y'all think we're going to hear anything new Kendrick, whether it's a feature uh, or a single? How do you think the lineup, the, the lineup is going to be? Do you think we're going to hear a feature and then he might drop a single and then an album or he just might just do a secret drop on the album and then come out with singles or do you think he gonna drop a single and then an album i want him just to do a shock drop i want i want him just to shake the internet up you know one day shoot two o'clock in the morning he just drop an album you know i think i think secret drops or it Secret drops have been like the go to lately. You know what I mean? Um, I remember like back in the day, we knew when the album was coming, coming. But I kind of like the secret drops, the uh, drops that, that just come out of nowhere. You know, I, I think that's kind of cool. 
So uh, I think he should do that, right? He should just just drop it out of nowhere. No signs, no warnings, no promo. Just drop it. Randomly drop it like, oh, shit, we got a new Kendrick. Uh, it's out, it's out. And then everybody just going to go crazy, right? So I think he should just randomly just drop it. He's taking caution to have it. Pause, no diddy. His next public music release be on his own terms and his own project or song means that he's cooking up something devious, which will probably take more shots at Drake. We previously heard from Playa's sources that P.G. Lang wanted Kendrick's album out before the end of July as he refused to feature on anybody's album until his own project was out, and the decision to dip from Mustard's project completely aligns with that. Playa also mentioned the label wanted Kendrick to feature on YG's new album releasing August 16th and the new Roddy Rich album, which doesn't have a drop date yet, which means the next couple weeks could get very spicy if Kendrick decides to crank up the pace and initiate his rollout. In other news, Yesterday, DJ Academics said possibly one of the most ridiculous things that I've ever heard come out of his mouth when he proclaimed that Big Sean should be part of a rap Big Four discussion. I was listening to some Big Sean recently, bro. Like, I think it's criminal that Big Sean was not mentioned. Or <clears throat> It should have been a Big Four with Big Sean in there, honestly. I think Big Sean got to take accountability, bro. Like, yo, he raps. I'm going to be honest with you. And y'all tell me if y'all tell me if I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. I think Big Sean, I'm not saying he raps better than anybody that's supposedly in that quote unquote Big Three. Uh, I'm not saying he raps better than Drake, Kendrick, or. This is just wild to hear, especially when you can tell Ak is trying to justify it, saying, well, he could. Now, I, I actually like Big Sean. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely looking forward to to new Big Sean. I, th I don't think Big Sean gets the credit that that he deserves. You know what I mean? Sean, Sean is a dope artist. He's a dope rapper. Um, I like the uh, direction he's going, but it seems like, you know, he's uh, headed in a new direction. You know what I mean? He's he's not the same Sean as he was when he first, you know, I, I think he's finding himself, which is dope. And, you know, you need time to do that and you need space. So when he comes back, you know, I feel like, you know, Sean is I, Sean is headed in. I, I can see that his he's headed in a different direction. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, as, as much time as he need, you know, come back when he's ready. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's going to translate to better music, good music, refined music, great music, not just club bangers. You know, he's going to talk like how old he is. He, he ain't going to be 21 forever. Right? <laughs> he ain't going to be forever 21 like Drake. Right. So it seems like Sean is, maturing as an artist as a man and i think that's going to translate in his music unlike drake drake is just going to be popping ass he's going to be popping ass with sexy red until he's 50 all right so you know uh, i definitely think big sean should uh you know i i, I can't wait to, to to hear some more big sean could be part of the big four but he wouldn't be higher than four i'm not a big sean hater and i think he's super talented but under no circumstances is he touching any consensus rap big three regardless of the three artists that take those spots maybe ak is just a huge big sean fan and he's letting his colors bleed a little bit but i feel like most like people sean. are smart enough to realize that some of their favorite rappers still cannot compete with whatever big three is currently agreed upon thank you guys so much for watching all right so, so there we go man so that was just some information on on the new Kendrick album just giving new updates on that. So salute to Leaky Files, you know, salute to that. Appreciate you with that info. <laughs> oh.